Okay, Joshua writes, Hey Collider, I recently subscribed to your channel about a month ago and I have been hooked ever since. My question for you guys is, what is your favorite decade movie-wise? Mine changes from day to day, but right now it's the 80s, Star Wars. Thanks, you guys are awesome. Keep making great content. Well, Joshua, I love the question, first of all. It's a, it's a great query. I think a lot of it depends on the time that you grew up in, when you were a kid, learning about movies for the first time. And I'm going to surprise some people right now because when you think of me, you probably think that I love 80s rock and I do 80s rock is amazing it's a great force for unifying the planets and aligning the galaxy I think that 70s movies are my favorite decade as a whole because I know you were very excited about Star Wars having Empire and Return of the Jedi in the 80s but we got A New Hope in 1977 we also got Jaws we also got Rocky we also got Animal House we also got Monty Python the Holy Grail we also got The Exorcist those movies to me make up the core of my favorite films of all time that aren't Jedi or Empire Strikes Back. Also so, got Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, another one. So and, Godfather. And we got Van Halen 1 and Van Halen 2. So, Schnepp, what do you think is the best decade for movies? Are you agreeing with my old school 70s approach? I could do either 70s or 80s. I'll just, just to be different, I'll say 80s. Well, fine. Uh, you know, you got Blade Runner, you got Conan the Barbarian, you got Tron, you got uh, The Thing, and that's just 1981. Or was it 82? That was it's 82, one, yeah. yeah. 82 that was, was like, like one. That was like one Wrath month of Khan. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, there was like that one summer of 82, yeah. You could put, your, you could put that one month in 1982 yeah. versus any other decade know, and come it, out. It's okay. pretty rocking. And then, of course, you got The Empire Strikes Back. I believe that was 1980. Mm -hmm. uh, there was, a, yeah, I mean, I think the 80s, and that's just the first couple years of the 80s. All of the amazing, the 16 Candles, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, all of the John Hughes movies, The Breakfast Club, all of those are 1984 four through 88 89 you had so many incredible action films in the 80s i mean I, for me I, I that i love the 80s yeah we really so. got the advent of the coming of age film yeah. spider-man not included in the 80s so dennis i took 70s he took 80s so now you're going to be stuck with 90s are you cool with that <laughs> no because it actually you got jack son no 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 because no. it's actually even more recent than that because what? yeah because i i started wow. thinking about i thought oh maybe it's the 70s or 80s i grew up in the 80s and 90s I, I looked at uh, the list and I, I realized a lot of my favorite movies come from the 2000s. Let me nice. let's see some of them. We have uh, uh, There Will Be Blood, The Wrestler. We have City of God, uh, The Proposition, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, yeah. Prestige, The Dark Knight. Uh, Tarantino did Kill Bill Vault 1s and 2, uh, Inglorious Bastards. These, some of those are my favorite right. movies of all time. So. I think for especially for me that the 2000s when it was when I was starting to understand movies on a different level than than previously mm -hmm. and so a lot of those movies spoke to me. Yeah, th there's holes you can poke in each decade, which yes. may not be right. fair to do, but like the 70s, the 80s, the thing that they lacked, despite having like Superman the movie and having Batman in 1989, you really didn't get this great advent of comic book movies that we have now and get right. to celebrate all the time until we got into what Dennis is talking about. By contrast, I think that 2000 on, maybe even in the late 90s, it just started, comedy just started to be harder to make for some reason. I don't know what it was. I don't know that Jim Carrey started being more dramatic eddie murphy decided he didn't really care about making funny movies anymore right. i don't know what it was i mean old school is great stepbrothers are great wedding crashers bridesmaids but i think the 70s and the 80s were the best two decades as far as comedy goes yeah we can't forget the 90s the 90s had pulp fiction the 90s like ushered in independent film in a brand new way even though it was like still like bigger budget independent film now independent films like five hundred thousand or less but independent film in the, the 90s was like we're doing it for five million or eight million that was like oh you can actually make a movie for that so can't forget those films. Yeah, we don't want to forget the 60s either and just everything that what happened before What about the 30s, then. guys? Yeah. Dude, yeah. the 30s was great. What? Okay, so you... Bella Lugosi? The 30s was awesome because in 1933, <clears throat> you had King Kong. And then listen yeah. to this murder's row you had in 1939. You had The Wizard of Oz, you had Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, and you had Gone with the Wind all in one year. And back Fantastic. then, that was unbelievable <clears throat> to get movies like that that still hold up. You get into the 40s, you get Citizen Kane. Right. When you go to the 60s, you get everything from Psycho to Easy Rider. So there's a lot of good movies. I'm just talking about dates now. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.